गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम अगेन टू योर ई लर्निंग सेशन कंप्यूटर लेक्चर आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स टू काइंडली रिमूव दर वर्कबुक एंड अ पेंसिल इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बिगिन विथ अ न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर फोर विंडोज सो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स टू काइंडली ओपन पेज नंबर फोर्टीन we will begin with chapter number 4 windows now we all know students what a window is right we all have seen a physical window let's try to understand what is windows in computer language or in computers world i'm sure we all are ready by now let us begin chapter number 4 windows Window is a small box on the screen where data are displayed. Window is operating system software too. That means this is the program which asks computer to work for you the way you want. When you start or turn on the computer system, it waits for a few seconds and a welcome window appears. After that, window desktop is displayed. Windows desktop is a large blank area which looks like a desk how you work on your desk desktop has folders taskbar and icon on it so what is a window students it says window is a small box on the screen where data are displayed right so window is a small screen as soon as you start your computer the home screen that you see is known as the windows windows is also an operating system right which is designed by microsoft uh, various other softwares include mac macintosh designed by apple right then we have linux then we have dos so the one developed by microsoft is windows it is designed to perform the task as per the user's requirement a user can use the windows to do a desired task the user wishes to now further it says when you start or turn on the computer right system it waits for few seconds we all have witnessed this while we were in the computer lab right students who have computers at home even they must they can try to see or to recollect what we are trying to discuss i'm sure when you were in the practical guys we initially switched on the computer the main power supply then the computer then you saw something happening on the screen the welcome screen loads then the lights get laid on the keyboard and the mouse and then you see a screen or a landing screen which is known as the desktop screen a windows desktop with lot of icons in the picture you can see just to refresh as to what all icons you see like my computer then we have various other icons like internet explorer right file explorer my computer recycle bin right? these are the various other icons that you see let's take a closer look of the picture that's displayed below what it says here is by default desktop has my documents my computer recycle bin network places icons on it right so these are the elements of a desktop right you can see it's divided into icons then desktop area and the bottom is known as the task bar so by default computer has icons which are my documents my computer recycle bin network places one can put more icons on the desktop to access files and folders easily and quickly at the default icons we saw 
apart from the default icons we can also add a few other icons which becomes as a shortcut for us to access our files that we may prefer so let's continue to read and understand what is my documents or what are these icons my documents this is the folder where all files and folders are saved by default it's like your personal folder where you store all your documents and files so my documents is nothing but it's a place where or it's a folder where all the files and folders are saved by default by default means unless and until a user wants to save the location of the file to a different place if you directly click on save automatically the files will be stored in my documents folder that is the meaning of by default this is like your personal folder where all your documents are stored right you can see in the picture students you have my documents then files and folders in the center you can see my data sources my music my pictures my videos it is personalizing with the word my that means it's your personal folder let's read to open my document folder just double click on my document icon on the desktop or one can access through start button right two ways of accessing my documents first is either you double click on the my document icon or you click on start and then you select my documents see here you if it's already clicked on start towards your right hand the first option is my documents let's read click on start then select my documents and click on it which is saw it my document folder has my picture my music folder by default you can put image files or pictures picture files in this folder it will be like your photo album again under my documents there are few more other options which are by default which are those my picture and my music correct so my pictures and my music as you can see in the picture on page number 14 the second picture it shows my music my pictures my videos right so these are by default options in my documents again in cell phones we have and the album option the gallery right similarly in computers this my documents or my my pictures my videos my images becomes personal album for you to see your images or pictures or videos anything that you may have saved it the next option is my computer as the name indicates on accessing this icon it display all the resources available in the computer like storage device attached to computer if any change in setting of computer is required then it is done through my computer to view all resources double click on my computer icon on desktop or click on start then select my computer then click okay as the name suggest students it's my computer it indicates when you access or when you open this particular icon or particular option you will see all the resources stored in the particular computer which can be like operating system files folders images videos recordings anything all the details of your files or the data will be found under my computer 
this is the place where all the storage devices or media which you connect to your computer gets displayed under my computer icon we all must have tried this in the practical lab if not we will do the hands on practice once we have a school as business as usual and when we start conducting practical sessions we can definitely take a look all right students so again my computer is a place where all the data all the resources you can see all your files and all your folders in this particular file or folder or under this my icon or my computer icon see here this is the desktop icon setting where you can go and you can select all the options which are by default available in the windows operating system which consists of computer user files network recycle bin control panel these are all the default icons present and this is how a desktop screen looks like just for you to see as an example you can see this pc here students you can see from your left in the center of the second picture second image is this pc which is also known as or my computer okay just keep this in mind this is for your knowledge for your reference this pc is also known as my computer or my computer icon is also known as this pc right let's read further to see what a recycle bin is recycle bin window has provided trash can where all deleted items are stored till you do not remove them permanently this icon is placed on desktop one should be very careful while deleting or removing a file in case you delete a file by mistake you can retrieve it back as a recycle bin window when you has restore option in its file menu for that open recycle bin file menu recycle bin all the deleted deleted or a dustbin is there all the deleted and dust the deleted item the part of recycle or by mistake you have to delete one of your important files or folders then recycle bin helps you to retrieve it back retrieve is to get it back to pull it as the recycle window or the recycle bin has which option and all you have to do is let's say file gets deleted 
we want to do it. So what we will do, we will open recycle bin and then select the file like attendance or mark sheet and then click on restore. In the picture below, you may not be able to see it clearly, hence for you all, I have this option. Look at here. So over here students, as you can see, at the extreme top left, it's written recycle bin. Right? Then towards your left navigation pane, you have a few options like desktop, downloads, drop boxes. And in the center, we have the list of deleted files. Now you see, there are two arrows, one pointing towards restore the selected item that's how that's one way and the second way is you select the particular file and if you do a right click you get the option to restore. here you also have the option empty recycle bin just below the recycle bin option you see empty the recycle bin this option will delete all the files and folders which are stored in the recycle bin okay. so let's move further it is a good practice to empty recycle bin at regular intervals empty recycle bin option is available in file menu right. we just saw what a re empty recycle bin window is again just take a look in the top left organize empty the recycle bin and restore the selected items it is a good practice as if you have lot of files and folders in the recycle bin window it may slow the performance of your computer so it is a good practice to delete those or empty the recycle bin at regular intervals let's continue further my network places as the name indicates, this icon gives the information about the computers connected in network, which allows us to view and access the computers connected in network. So my network places, it gives you the access to see all the computers connected in the network. You can view and access all the information of the computers that are interconnected to each other. Apart from this icon, we can place program icons also on the desktop. Not only program icons, any file or game which we often use, for them also you can put shortcut on the desktop so one can access them quickly. So this particular stanza or paragraph is talking about, you can add, a user can add the shortcuts depending upon this requirement. Let's say if you are if you daily play a game or you there is a particular file which you have to access daily, then you can simply create a shortcut of that particular file on the desktop as an icon and you can double click on it to open it quickly. This gives you the convenience of accessing your files and folders at a faster and easier way. So just to shortly summarize, we have this default icons like this PC, network, recycle bin and internet explorer and towards your right is a description of what these desktop icons do. You can make a note of this in your notebook for your reference. Let us continue to see what or how to put shortcut on the desktop. Let's read. Let us put shortcut for paint program on the desktop. Now this is something which we can do in a practical session as it is giving us step by step instructions. However, for your theory, we will still. So what we will do is we will click on start menu and select all program then select accessories then right click on paint a pop-up menu is displayed from that select send to 
again menu list will appear from that select desktop and the option to select is create shortcut and click shortcut icon for paint is placed on the desktop as you can see in the picture below see here shortcut to applications right microsoft word then shortcut to application my computer you can see there is this active application so the window which is currently accessible by a user is known as the active application so how we create a shortcut for any particular application or a particular file here we have an example of paint so to do that we'll go on start we'll click on start then we'll go to all program select accessories and right click on paint a pop-up menu will be displayed from that we have to select send to again a small window will appear giving you the list of options you simply select desktop and a shortcut will be created reading further desktop is place where you see the first thing desktop is place which you see the first thing you can choose wallpaper and screen saver of your choice it can be any picture of your choice or images provided by windows wallpaper is background pattern of window to change wallpaper follow the steps so now it is explaining or telling us to change the wallpaper it's telling something else telling something about the wallpaper the settings as you may have seen while during your practical sessions when we sit on the different computers some desktop computers are plain just the desktop icon and some have like special wallpaper right so we will here try to change the wallpaper it's again a feature as in your cell phones you have wallpaper themes option you change it as per your convenience or as per your interest or as per your like students similarly even in computers we can change the appearance of the home screen also known as desktop by this feature called as wallpaper let's see how to change the wallpaper right click on desktop anywhere menu list will be displayed from that select properties and click display property dialog box will be displayed click on desktop tab of this dialog box it will display list of background pictures which can be set for background you can select one from here or click on browse and select your own choice maybe your own photo or a paint file created by you after that click on apply button and new background will be displayed on the screen click on ok so this is telling us to or giving the step by step instructions how to change the wallpaper in the picture below you have the pictorial format as to how the window will look so all you have to do is how do we go to the display properties you right click anywhere on the desktop except the icons you right click in the blank space a small window will pop up from that you select the option properties so as soon as you select properties the window will display something like this right which is consist of themes desktop screen saver appearance settings so this is how you apply the wallpaper or the screen saver if you read further screen saver it is quite usual the computer is on and inactive we are busy doing something else that time system sends some moving patterns on the screen which is known as screen saver screen saver protects screen or monitor and prevent it from burning to set a screen saver right click on desktop and select properties then click on screen saver tab you can choose screen saver 
moving picture from the list even you can create your own also and give time period in wait checkbox by choosing preview option you can see preview of screen saver click on or more mouse to stop it and click on apply then click on okay okay so wallpaper is the background pattern of window and screen saver is the window that comes while your computer is locked or idle when you're not using your computer then the screen saver will be displayed and wallpaper is the background pattern of window take a look here as it says you right click and then click on properties these options gets popped up themes desktop a desktop is where you will select the wallpaper screen saver is where you will select the screen savers then we have appearance and settings so this is how a windows xp operating system will look like the op options and this is the option when you in windows 10 the higher operating systems when you right click you didn't get properties however you get the option of personalize or display setting and this is how the option will look like since we are in the windows 10 generation or we are using windows 10 operating system students i'm just using this for your understanding or for your knowledge in your syllabus it's only about windows xp however i'm just giving you additional information or keeping you up to date with today's generation as we are already using windows 10 display property or personalized window option will look like let us continue not only the background and screen saver we can change entire appearance of desktop by choosing appearance option from display properties appearance option on selection provide us option to change color fonts how windows menu bar should appear etc select color scheme and font of your choice and click on apply and click ok this is nothing but this is telling you we can change the appearance if you see it's right next to screen saver appearance so this will help us to change the display or the overlook of the computer screen you can change colors you can change fonts depending upon your preference or the style that you want the display to appear so in this display properties you can change the wallpaper you can change the screen saver you can change the appearance in screen saver option you have the wait time as to as in cell phones guys like you see if the phone remains inactive lock it automatically right we have three seconds five seconds one minute two minute similarly in computers when the computer screen is idle when a user is not using it for a specific time after that screen gets automatically locked and the screen saver starts playing on the screen saver has appeared on the screen so let us work with windows we have seen what all icons are on the desktop and how we can change desktop appearance. Now it's time to work with windows. Did you notice a thick bar on the lower side of the desktop? This is known as taskbar. Taskbar has start button and icons for the documents and programs open at the same time. It shows other indicators like internet player, time and date. Start button is the magic button of window any program can be accessed through start as start menu have the list of all the options available on the computer so this paragraph is talking about the taskbar as you can see in this picture at the bottom there is a taskbar written this entire rectangular bar is known as the taskbar which consists of the start icon 
then we have the indicators showing all the open documents or programs then towards your extreme right we have another other options like for usb for internet date time and various other features so this is what a taskbar is so let us continue further to see what the start menu is when we click on start button menu list displays option i will read again start menu when we click on start button menu list displays options all program my document control panel search run etc so students this is an explanation about the start menu as soon as you click on the start menu now in windows 10 operating system we no longer have the start written we have the four icons of window the windows logo the four so as soon as display all the programs or uninstall any application then it gets updated automatically my document this is the place where all the documents are saved by default like we discussed in the start control panel as the name indicates it has got all the tools to manage entire computer system on clicking it displays options taskbar start menu search this icon allows you to find files or folders on any drive which we forget where was it stored then search option is very useful it gives you wide range of options time wise name wise so it's easy to search for example you created a file geet and now you don't remember whether you saved it in my documents or somewhere else and click on start and select search search window will be displayed okay so control panel is nothing but it's a as the name indicates that may be available in a windows operating system when you click on it it displays all the options like network and sharing center ease of access like all these multiple options or the various options gets displayed there are two types of view in control panel students one is the category view and then the other one is a small icons or the list view this is just for your knowledge then we have the search button as the name itself says search it helps you to search a particular file which we which we may have forgotten the location of where it is saved like by default by default my documents is the place where all the documents or files are saved automatically however like i mentioned earlier if a user wants to save it to a different location a user has the preference or the capability to do that now let's say for example you have saved a file and you forgot where that location is here in your book we have given the example of the file created by the name of geet in my documents or areas of the folders but you're not able to find it so what search will do is search will help you to get the list of all the documents by the name of geet like as soon as you type in uh, as soon as you type geet in the search
file with that name so only that file will be displayed if you have multiple files then all the files with the name git will be displayed as the search option this is how windows 10 operating system or the desktop icon will look like as soon as you click on start this is the options that you get like from the bottom settings right we have it's known as menu windows cascading cascading CSS that stands for cascading style sheets this helps this is a feature of the windows this is how a start menu in windows 10 operating system looks like and this is the control panel view students take a look this is where you can adjust your computer settings you see the list of options administrative tools and date and time devices and printers fonts internet options mouse keyboard network and sharing center language recovery these are all the options when you go to control panel window now see here students on your right from you see view by small icons see here small icons when you click on this drop down arrow you can get the option of category view this is what i was trying to tell you all that control panel has two options we can see small icons large icons as well as category view now, with the advancement of the operating system the options also get enhanced so here we will continue with the search option as we read last search window will be displayed so in left pane click on all files and folder options in file text box type git and select drives from drop down list and click on search and search result will be displayed in right side of window if you don't remember the file name then we can use wild characters like question mark and asterisk in file names with different extensions for example you do not know git is g-i-e-t or g-i-i-t or g-e-e-t then you can type in search file name as box file name box as g question mark question mark t dot doc so question mark question mark replace one character and asterisk number of characters so this is how this is the example of how you can search for a file like in case if you don't remember the spelling what is an actual name and then you can use question mark and asterisk and multiplication sign or the star sign is known as asterisk so this is how a search option will help you to search for the files or folders that you may forget the location you may have forgotten the location of that particular file or folder let's see what is help and support this feature of windows make one independent of any guide as under this heading one gets information on any topic related to windows help has its own search box which allows us to even get information for a term of command now help and support is an option or a feature which makes a user independent 
say we are new to computers and we do not know how to operate or what are the features of that particular windows operating system so what we can do is we can go to help and support and we can get ourselves educated on a particular feature or a particular topic that you may want like it's an assistant it helps you to give you information like you don't want to depend on any person or any internet you can directly use help and support option and it will give you the details or the knowledge of that particular feature which you may be looking for down below is the help window this is how the help window will looks like will look like and you can search for any help that you are stuck on or you need more information on next is the run run option allows us to execute any file application or program it can be used to open any file also we have to provide a complete path where file is located for that we can use browse option for example a file name resume is in d drive my files folder then you must type in open text box this is the description d colon backslash my files backslash resume and click on okay so the run window or the run command is nothing but it's again a shortcut for you to open that particular application in a faster way here it's telling you to open a file by the name of resume or resume which is in d drive so how you do it you press the windows key and the letter r key the letter r is the shortcut key for the run command windows r you press that windows r and a small window as you see down a small run window pops up and then if you know the location of the file you can directly enter it or you can browse and you can open that particular file we also use the run command to open certain applications like calculator microsoft word paint powerpoint and various other applications like this is the advanced use like if you are aware as to what are those commands of that particular files or folders then you can simply use this command to or use this window run command window to access those applications example here so this is how a run window will look like so you can click on like say now you want to open calculator so to open calculator how you do is you click on start then you go to all programs then you go to accessories and then you go for calculator option the next option will be or the next way will be you go to search type calculator and then the calculator will be opened the third way is the shortcut the more easier way now in this the trick is you should know what to type in this run window like for opening a calculator you don't have to type in c a l c u l a t o r calculator completely you just write in c a l c and click on okay calculator pops up or calculator window will open up this is the use of the run command window and if you turn there are many programs in all programs but commonly used are accessory program which you can access click start all programs accessories you can select whichever program like wordpad notepad paint calculation etc so here this says all programs is a list of all the programs however the most commonly used are accessories here is the example all programs you see it's highlighted in blue all programs then accessories then there is a arrow pointing towards the right these arrows mean there are list of options available sub menu or sub options so under accessories you got 
एक्सेसिबिलिटी कम्युनिकेशंस एंटरटेनमेंट सिस्टम टूल्स कैलकुलेटर नोट पैड पेंट राइट दीज आर ऑल द ऑप्शंस मोस्ट वाइडली और मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज बाय यूजर टेक अ लुक स्टूडेंट्स so in this chapter we learned about windows we saw what is window and then its various other options like my document my computer recycle bin then network places then we also learned about how to create shortcut how you can create shortcuts various shortcuts then about wallpaper screen savers then we saw the details about the start menu what all options you get under the start menu when you click on the start button then the list of programs the basic features like help and support search run command these are all the basics of the windows operating system i hope you all understood the chapter i will send you all the notes accordingly i request all the students to kindly complete their notes until our next lecture students i thank you for your time be healthy and be safe thank you once again have a nice day